From all of us here at White Park Baptist Church, we want to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. We hope you are having a wonderful time uh, resting and recuperating and uh, finding a spirit of thankfulness in this season. So now we hope you enjoy this devotional. Our reading this morning is from Luke chapter 23. There will be signs in the sun, the moon and the stars and on the earth, distress among nations, confused by the roaring of the sea and the waves. People will faint from fear and foreboding of what is coming upon the world. For the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Now when these things begin to take place, Stand up and raise your heads, because your redemption is drawing near. One of the hardest gaps to reconcile in all of Scripture is this mental space between Revelation and the Gospels. One is a portrait of cosmic judgment, of the defeat of powers and principalities, and the reconciliation and restoration of the creation. The other is a more personal story. It's a dusty rabbi who is born to peasants and teaches and walks and then dies. But there have been stories of apocalypse and cosmic conflict before. And there have been countless stories of wise teachers and wanderers. But it's the connection, it's the through line from one to the other that makes the Christian story incredible. The great cosmic judge and the dusty rabbi who taught his disciples to love are one and the same. The God who is coming into the world to restore it, to set it right, to bend it back into shape, is the same one who wandered and taught and forgave. As our gospel passage tells us, the coming king is the son of man. Some translations render that into English as the human one. Jesus is the human one and the divine one cosmic king and dusty peasant, rabbi and creator, king of kings and crucified one. The one who judges, the one who restores, is also the one who took on flesh and lived and died for our sake. This is the mystery of it. This is the power of it. That the creator God who comes in glory loved you in all of your humanness. He loved you enough to be a part of it and take on all of our hurts and all of our sins. There's no better word to carry with us out into the world, that the God of Jesus Christ loves us so much that he suffered and died for us. And more, he lived again and is pouring new kingdom life into the world.